Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the carburetor on your engine, make sure the engine has cooled. The ignition switch is in the off position and the key has been removed, if applicable. If necessary, disconnect the headlight wire harness. Then lift up the hood or engine cover and detach it. Now rotate the air filter cover retaining knobs counterclockwise and pull off the cover. Lift out the air filter. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw inside the filter housing. Now use a 3 8 inch socket or wrench to unthread the four blower housing mounting bolts. Detach the oil drain tube and lift off the blower housing. Use a 7 16 inch socket to unthread the mounting nuts securing the air inlet pipe. Detach the breather tube and set the pipe aside. Use locking pliers to crimp the fuel line. Release the retaining clamp and pull the fuel line off of the carburetor. Disconnect the solenoid wire harness. Use a 5 16 inch deep well socket or nut driver to unthread the carburetor mounting bolts. Note the orientation of the linkages, then detach the throttle rod and spring. Then release the old carburetor from the choke rod. You're now ready to install the new carburetor. Attach the carburetor to the choke rod. Attach the throttle spring and rod. Align the provided gasket on the intake manifold. Position the carburetor, then thread the mounting bolts and tighten. Connect the solenoid wire harness. Attach the fuel line to the new carburetor. Secure it with the retaining clamp and remove the locking pliers. Confirm that the O-ring is in place on the air inlet pipe. Then align the pipe on the carburetor and secure it with the mounting nuts. Reattach the breather tube to the pipe. Reposition the blower housing. Make sure the housing is properly seated on the air diverter. Rethread and tighten the mounting bolts to secure the housing. The longer bolts go in the back. Replace the screw in the filter housing. Reposition the air filter. Realign the cover and rotate the retaining knobs clockwise to secure.
Reattach the oil drain tube to the blower housing. Reinstall the hood or engine cover. And reconnect the headlight wire harness if applicable. With the engine running, set the idle mixture adjustment screw to the proper position on the new carburetor. Then install the provided limiter cap.